I do remember the first day I dived at um, Beware Reef Marine Sanctuary, which was yeah, almost 20 years ago now. Um, it was sort of a bit like sensory overload, I think, the first time. I was really impressed with it and diving for, for parks and doing work related around the marine protected areas is fantastic. I, I love it and it's um, yeah, a real passion of mine. My name is Mike Irvine. I'm a Ranger Team Leader at Orbost with Parks Victoria. Beware Reef Marine Sanctuary rises up from about 30 metres, comes off the ocean bottom in a series of gutters, rises, vertical drops, uh, and, until it breaks the surface. It's a, a really special part of Victoria's coastline. It's, it's basically where the temperate water mixing with the cold water coming up from the, the Southern Ocean. Really diverse, both in terms of fish species, but also sponges, corals, ascidians, and, and all those invertebrates. Over 10 years ago, probably closer to 15 years ago, is when the black spine sea urchin, the numbers were exploding and what they were doing is taking over areas of reef and eating everything, e eating all the algae and everything else that goes with it and creating urchin barrens, which was literally bare rock. What we did is we've been working over the last 10 years with Friends of Beware Reef, a volunteer group, and park staff to do some culling. We found that that's made such an amazing difference out at Beware Reef, so when we do our, our surveys now, there's hardly any urchins. The density's dropped right back down, and just in the last 18 months, 12 months, the kelp has returned amazingly. We have to maintain that effort and sustain it, um, but the initial cull was the hardest, and now we've just got to do some tidy up work now and then to. Um, to keep on top of it, but it's um, really promising and a you know, really positive outcome. I think if people want to help, there's um, plenty of volunteer groups around the state to um, get involved in marine protected areas, people doing whatever they can do to help with climate change, both personally and as a community, to reduce the effects of it and help deal with the, the impacts of it.